Hi guys, I'm so excited you decided to come to art today. Today we are going to read the book The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds and we are going to create our own dots and see where our creativity takes us. Let's get started. The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear and a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti jabbed a marker and gave the paper a good strong jab. There! Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper towards Vashti and quietly said, Now, sign it. Vashti thought for a moment, well, I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti visited, walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn. Her dot! all framed in swirly gold. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted a yellow dot, a green dot, a red dot, a blue dot, a, the blue mixed with the yellow, she discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's mini dots made quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle and then she said, Please sign it. The end. All right, you're gonna need a sheet of paper to start with. Different markers, crayons. I'm gonna use two lids to go ahead and trace out a circle so I can have a place to make my dot. The first one that I'm gonna do is the smaller circle. In here, I'm gonna use a variety of markers to create a design. There's no right or wrong to this, it's just wherever your creativity takes you. Just make sure that you're turning your paper as you work to make sure that you stay in that circular dot motion as you go. You can try doing a color scheme. So maybe you use only warm colors in your dot. Maybe you wanna use only cool colors inside of it. You can make patterns, you can draw a picture, you can experiment and make a bunch of different dots. Whatever you want to do is totally up to you. All right, so all you're gonna do, you can get as detailed with this as you want, going back and making more lines inside of 
each little area to where it's all the way filled. You can use markers, you can use crayons, you can use colored pencils. Where whatever you want to use is totally up to you. Be creative and try out different things. Maybe try some color mixing and see where it goes from there. So maybe you wanna paint your dot. You can use watercolors, you can use acrylics, you can use any paint that you have at home and you can paint your dot. You can try mixing colors together, you can put colors next to each other, Whatever you want to do an experiment will work. Make sure that if you're using watercolors like I am now, that you are dipping your brush in the water and carefully mixing it in with the paint. If you want your color to be lighter, you're going to want to use a little more water. If you want your color to be darker, then you're going to make sure you want less water. As you switch colors, you need to make sure that you're cleaning your brush or at least dragging it on a napkin. That way you can make sure that you're not gonna make your colors dirty as you paint around your dot. Maybe you want to make a dot out of paper. So I found a bunch of different scraps of paper, different colors, and I am just cutting circles out of all of them, making sure that some are bigger, some are smaller. And then all I'm going to do is use a glue bottle to go ahead and glue my circles together once I'm done cutting a variety of sizes. I put one dot in the middle, stack my shapes, and then I have a dot. Okay, now that our painted dot has had time to dry, we're just gonna go back to those two and we're gonna carefully cut them out to finish off this project and then you will have amazing dots. All right, so don't forget, wherever your creativity takes you is what you can do for this project. You can make dots out of paper, you can make dots with markers, and you can make dots out of paint. It's whatever you want to do. Make sure that you take your time. If you do them on a full sheet of paper, they'll need to be cut out in the shape of a dot. If you're coming back traditional, bring them with you to school so I can hang them in the foyer. If you are going to be remote, hang them in your windows or on your front door so everyone can see it and make it a family project and see how many different dots you can create. I cannot wait to see your pictures and your dots. See you later. Bye.